Globally, most countries have witnessed restiveness as a result of unemployment and many African countries are seriously affected by it. Specifically, unemployment is a big challenge in Nigeria which over the years has represented a lost opportunity for national economic empowerment. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, the current rate of unemployment in Nigeria has risen to 23.9% from 21.1% when last counted in 2010. Most recently, the issue of the Nigeria Immigration Services Saga exposed the rate of unemployment in the country further as there were about 750,000 young applicants vying for 4,500 available job positions. In Cross River State, on the average, over 56,000 graduates enter the job market annually. In 2013, the schools within the state graduated students into the labor market as follows. University of Calabar, 5,000. Cross River State University of Technology, 832. College of Education, Akampa, 2,225. Federal College of Education, Obudu, 3,000. Secondary schools, 45,000. Bringing it to a total of 56,057. So we started with legislation that set up um, the Microenterprise Development Agency. We set up also a department, a complete department called the Investment Promotion Department. And of course, those agencies have led in our drive to realize that aspect of the vision. Our focus has been on entrepreneurship, on developing our young people and creating employment opportunities for them. And they've done this um, over the last six or seven years. Uh, they've, they've built significant capacity. Uh, today we host the EDC uh, Entrepreneur Development Center uh, for the South-South region. And I think, um, if I'm not wrong, it's probably the most successful center we have in the country today. Um, we've been able to develop a lot of capacity through that partnership for our young people. We also have, um, beyond the EDC, we have, of course, MEDA itself working as an agency, as a micro-enterprise development agency, um, working with young people and entrepreneurs, and, of course, working with the Bank of Industry and the Bank of Agriculture. So through the years, we've created several thousand jobs for our young people. We've built new entrepreneurs that are doing very well and are successful. And we're giving cross Riverians hope for a better and a brighter future. We think that we can move and have moved from being a civil service state to a state that has become an investment destination, creating opportunity for our young people and for a new generation of cross Riverians. In response to the employment gap, the Cross River State Government designed some strategies, amongst which are creating a suitable investment climate to attract top-class investors, identifying job vacancies nationwide, and preparing qualified youths to fill the positions, promoting the establishment and growth of local enterprises, establishment and support of specialized institutions to promote skill and competency development among youth. Central Bank of Nigeria, South-South Entrepreneurship Development Center, Tinapo Knowledge City, Calabar, Institute of Technology and Management, UGEP, Technology Incubation Center, Calabar, General Electric Training Facility, Government Technical College, Ikotifanga. The Special Advisor Investment Promotion, Mr. Gerald Ada, oversees both the process of attracting investors into the state as well as creating local enterprises within the state. Uh, when we came on board uh, as an administration, uh, His Excellency recognized clearly uh, the issues, the challenges facing uh, our state, which is that of economic development, uh, the issues of unemployment, the issues of entrepreneurship, and the challenge of attracting investors into the state. And so uh, there was a need to set up an investment promotion bureau uh, with the mandate of driving and encouraging uh, the investment climate that would attract the right kinds of investors to Cross River State. And so everything we have done as an administration is to help create the necessary environment for jobs to be created so that young people could get employed when they leave school. So far, 
the Investment Promotion Bureau has attracted over $3 billion of potential investments from reputable companies with potential job creation of about 50,000 jobs over the next five years. Some of these companies are General Electric. The topic of job creation is right on the critical path of what we see as uh, to the success of this project. We see about 250 specific new roles being created in Calabar uh, to support this factory. Uh, that'll be in addition to the 100 jobs that we currently have in place in Nigeria. But these won't just be ordinary jobs. Uh, these will be jobs that uh, through training and, and pipeline development will employ people that have skills in the areas of, of welding, um, machining, uh, electrical, and, and assembly and, and test related activities. Uh, these people will be in a position where they'll be trained, in our view, comparably to employees that we bring on in other parts of the world. And again, we see it as one of the most exciting aspects of, of uh, this project. Wilma International. So with full complements, we may need to employ about 15 to 20,000 employees in the total. Apart from the direct worker, we're also having direct workers in terms of um, like the contracts that we give, field maintenance contracts and basically given to the people from the catchment area. And each contractor has a minimum of about 100 or 120 workers. And these workers have dependents. If we take an average of um, maybe three dependents per worker. So we are talking about empowering over close to 2,000 to 2,500 people around the locality. Brentex Petroleum Services. As we stand now, probably we have 50. But as we go to the peak, uh, we should go in excess of 800. RT Industries Limited. See, in this uh, shopping mall, I, we estimate the total number of people that would be employed in the whole shopping mall, with, that is with various retailers over here, would be approximately about 700 people. That's direct. Indirect, we could say another three, 4,000 people, so give or take 5,000 people would be employed directly and indirectly. Mean the phones. At the moment, we have 30 workers, of which 12 are from Cross River States. And in the next two years, we expect to have between 120 and 150 workers. Eastern Premier Feeds. Unisem. Dancer Group, Portside Industrial Park, Cross River Songhai Initiative. My name is Patrick Oyonga Khan. I am from Boki local government area of Cross River State. I am one of those that was selected and uh, sponsored by the state government for training in a Songhai Regional Centre, Port Novo. So I wish to say thank you so much to the Cross River State government. Thank you to Governor Lea Limoke for this wonderful opportunity given me. This is a Miracle Takon from Songhai Cross River State. I'm from our Ecom local government area. And um, luckily I was among the few who were selected to Port Novo for a training in six months. I appreciate the government of um, Cross River State, the government of Yeli Moke. And I'm still saying thank you for making me a sincere beneficiary because in this very case it was free and fair. There was nothing like political uh, issues in it. I uh, seized the opportunity to thank His Excellency Lia Moke. Uh, as well as his SA, Jara uh, Ada, for the effort they have put in to invest in us, especially those of us who went for this training. I would like to say a big thank you to the governor of Kosovo State and his team. Other pipeline investments attracted into the state include Giant Cement Company, Nigerian Content Development and Management Board, Oil and Gas Industrial Park, ESSA Power, project masters to further improve the employment opportunities for youth in the state the government established the job placement department mrs magdalene agibe is a special assistant in charge of this department so far a total number of about 2500 
have been placed in the public sector. This includes recruitment into the armed forces, and about three to 4,000 youths have been employed by the private sector. To facilitate the process of creating and growing local enterprises within the state, His Excellency, the Governor of Cross River State, Senator Leal Imoke, through the Investment Promotion Bureau, established the Microfinance and Enterprise Development Agency, MEDA. Mr. Ignatius Atsu is the Director General of the agency. MEDA was set up to complement what the state government is doing in other sectors so that those who cannot get paid employment will be self-employed by setting up small and micro enterprises. The vision of the governor is hinged on his passion to see the young cross variants being employed. The agency has developed and successfully implemented programs within its last three years of operations that have had the following major impact. One, creation of about 1,500 new enterprises. Two, creation of about 5,000 direct and indirect jobs. Three, injection of about 1 billion naira into the state's economy for local enterprises. This impact has been achieved through the implementations of the following programs. One, 500 million naira cross river state government and bank of industry msme fund created to provide funding of amounts ranging between 1 million naira and 50 million naira under relatively relaxed conditions to indigenous msmes and cooperatives in the state a total of 12 msmes have received offer letters totaling about 200 million naira these approvals are at different stages of disbursement my name is Francis Ipo, and uh, I'm the MD CEO of Chris Marie's Popcorn. Meda saw that uh, good in me, and of course, bought into the idea, brought in Bank of Industry, which, after much scrutiny and interviews and presentations, was able to be given a loan of uh, 6.5 million to translate that dream into reality. And today I'm glad and happy to, uh, you know, announce to the world that uh, anything is actually possible. Uh, by the grace of God, we have 12 staff. We're entrepreneurs and <laughs> we pride ourselves at, as, as MDs and CEOs. And of course, that's as a result of uh, His Excellency's uh, assistance and of course, MEDA and Bank of Industry. My name is uh, John Otu Agba. We are I'm a director of uh, Aqua Prime Nigeria Limited. We receive about 25 million naira from MEDA in collaboration with Bank of Industry. We will be employing 60 workers in the next six months. On the whole, one has to give credit to His Excellency Senator Lee Mocking for giving us the opportunity to participate in this noble initiative. Well, I applied, well, what was approved for me was 2.82 million. We make about 12 cartons a day, and uh, in a week, about four, four bags. I think it's a, it's a, it's a welcome idea, it's very good. Um, the Bank of Industry is doing her own part, and the murder of Cross River is doing her own part. And um, they're coming together because from the, from the agreement, Cross River is bringing in half, Bank of Industry is bringing in half, and once it comes together, it goes a long way. My name is James Alicia Okwango. I am the Managing Director of Jamel Technical Limited. So, we thank the government of Cross River State for this initiative. We thank the management of Investment Promotion Bureau, particularly, and MEDA, for being there for us. If they were not there, little things that they did for us, we will not have done it. Two, $400 million naira Cross River State Government and Bank of Agriculture Microcredit Scheme created to provide microcredits of amounts ranging between 50,000 naira and 250,000 naira to aspiring, nascent and existing micro entrepreneurs and small businesses resident in the state. A total of about 100 million naira 
has disbursed to 900 individuals under the scheme. 3. 40 million Naira MEDA Ministry of Youth and Sports Development MOYSD Microcredit Scheme Created to provide microcredit support to youth. Over 200 beneficiaries have been given credit facilities ranging between 50,000 Naira and 200,000 Naira under the scheme. My name is Rosalind Oga. I'm into fashion and design. When I heard of MEDA, I visited them and then they assisted me with their loan, which in a very, very great way, it has helped me to increase and expand my business to what it is today. It's very good and encouraging, and so they should keep up the good work they've started. My name is Queen Ojoho. Um, I, as you can see, I do clothes business, boutique. Thank you to MEDA and Crossover State Government as a whole. I am very grateful. In fact, if not for MEDA, I don't know what I could have done, you know, without them. My name is Joseph Takon. I'm the Managing Director of Stream Dynamics Nigeria. Stream Dynamics Nigeria is an IT and corporate branding company based in Calabar. Right now, Stream Dynamics has uh, a staff base of 15 persons, 15 staffs, and in two years, I see Stream Dynamics to be having a very large staff based uh, 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 profile with about 70 to 75 staffs. And I, I compliment the initiative of Mr. Gerard Ada for starting up the entire uh, MEDA EDC, that's the Entrepreneurship Development Center. Let's say Crossover State will start producing the next set of billionaires in Nigeria. Four. Agricultural Enterprise Development Program. This program was designed to provide support to a total of 230 yam farmers located in Yakor and Ogoja local government area. Farmers were trained and provided with microcredit to support the expansion of their farms and crop output. 5. Project Awake. Project Awake is essentially a partnership. Power is the implementing partner and MEDA is the funding partner. MEDA is um, providing a pool of funds of about 400 million, which um, will be lent to the women. My name is Mrs. Eunice Njo, president of VEX Farm in the Tun local government area, across River State. They supported us with, uh, with some amount of money, one million naira. I'm so grateful to uh, Project Awake. Look at how we want to expand our farm. And you know, okay, look at the, the stock we have already. You know that when, this, when they grow to maturity, we are really going to gain from it. And we have also employed other staff, with, which that is to say they have helped us to also help others. So they have given us hope. Those are the kind of projects we would like them to come and stay. Six, training of trainers, TOT workshop. This program was designed to develop trainers in every local government area of the state so that the trainers can provide step-down training in the local government areas as required in English language, Pigeon English or vernacular language as the case may be. So far, 15 self-employed graduates have been trained in each of the 18 local government areas of the state, bringing the total number of trainers available to 270. 7. Enterprise Clubs in Secondary Schools MEDA, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education, has commenced the establishment of enterprise clubs in secondary schools. The aim of the clubs is to promote the spirit of entrepreneurship amongst the people at a young age in a practical manner. A minimum of two teachers per school has been trained to supervise the clubs. So far, nine schools have inaugurated their clubs and have received startup grants of 50,000 naira each. Other schools across the state are in the process of establishing their own clubs. My name is Bless Nasukwa Sukwa. I'm an SS2C. I'm the Vice President of Entrepreneurship Club. I so much thank the government for bringing this club to this school. It has helped many students in the aspect of making some things like bead making, soap, liquid soap, hair cream and hat making and traditional fund for traditional marriages. 8. Central Bank of Nigeria South-South Entrepreneurship Development Center The Cross River State Government, through MEDA, secured the hosting rights of the Central Bank of Nigeria South-South Entrepreneurship Development Center for an initial period of five years. The government 
has thus far invested about 750 million naira to date in procuring a suitable facility and providing required infrastructure to support the center. My name is Emeka Namani, the manager of the South South Entrepreneurship Development Center, Calabar. The South South EDC is an initiative of the Central Bank of Nigeria, which began far back in 2008. Today, the South South EDC is a center of excellence and has been judged as the best entrepreneurship development center in the entire country. As I speak, we currently have a total of 1,181 participants in the program. And out of these, the center has been able to create or expand about 428 new businesses. We also have a total of 1,281 or 82, 1,282 jobs that have been created as a result of our activities in the past one year. Our target is that in five years, we should have trained and developed a minimum of 10,000 entrepreneurs. So we invite you to take advantage of this laudable projects, partnership within the cross River State Government and the Central Bank of Nigeria to become better citizens and also improving your own life as an individual. When you come to the EDC, you know, beginning from our mindset reorientation program to actual, uh, actual business classes where we teach you how to start up a business or how to expand the business as the case may be, you know, the EDC is here for you. And uh, that's why the government works so hard to ensure that the EDC is located in Calabar and so that the, the citizens of the state can take advantage of the EDC. On behalf of the program director of the, of the South South Entrepreneurial Development Centre, Mr. Bingo Wolabi, we'd like to say a special thank you to the governor and people of Cross River State for the support they've given to the South South Entrepreneurial Development Centre. And uh, we, we believe that this centre will change the fortune of the South South region and make the South South region the economic hub of Nigeria. Thank you and God bless you. MEDA has also designed and implemented programs to enable youth in Cross River to take advantage of federal government programs. Some of these include Youth Enterprise with Innovation, You Win. This is an annual business plan contest organized by the federal government of Nigeria to select and award to qualified youth-owned businesses throughout the country, amounts ranging between 1 million naira and 10 million naira. The competition has had three editions and to date, a total of 75 youth that have enjoyed MEDA support have benefited from the program. The third edition is in the final selection stage and we anticipate that between 40 and 45 youth will benefit from this edition in Cross River State. Vocational Skills Training The Cross River State Government has designed a framework for continuously reducing the unemployment rate in the state. We urge all Cross Riverians to take full advantage of the opportunities available to better your life and that of your family. Visit any of the following departments and agencies of government for inquiries. This summarizes the first stage in our quest to create an enduring and vibrant private sector-driven economy in the state that promotes economic inclusion in a sustainable manner. It is our desire that the people of Cross River State derive full benefits from this process.